Hello again, friends. Time for calendar. If you went on Starfall today, did you notice how close we are to Thanksgiving? And there aren't very many more days until the end of November either. So we're going to fill in quite a lot of days today to get us to our coming back to school day on our calendar. Let's start by saying the days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Today is t -t Tuesday. It's right here. It's orange on our calendar. So we're going to zoom down from Tuesday. There's today. It's the empty spot right after 23. 22, 23. Did you say 24? Good job. Today is November 24th. And it is a Tuesday. All right, we're going to count all the way to 24 now. Are you ready for this? Let me move a little bit. Okay, take a big breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. You did it. Okay, so we have some no school days now. Tomorrow, no school. Because hopefully you're going to help your family out a little bit tomorrow. I know my family is going to be cleaning up a little and making some special food for Thanksgiving. And if your family is going to celebrate Thanksgiving together, tomorrow would be a great day for you to help out. Say, Mom, Dad, is there anything I can do to help you get ready? Maybe you can help dust some things or clean up your bedroom, put your toys away. Those are things that will really help your family get ready. So it's a no school day tomorrow, 25. The next day is Thanksgiving. In there. What comes after 25? Whoa, that's big. 26. That'll be Thanksgiving day. And maybe your family will be having a special meal or something like that. Maybe your family likes to watch football games on TV on Thanksgiving. It doesn't want to go in there, does it? And then the next day is Friday, and we won't have school on Friday either. We get a big long weekend for Thanksgiving. So number 27, no school. And then there's a weekend. We don't go to school on the weekend, do we? 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29. Whoops, my finger's in the way. There's 28. There's 29. And then we get to come back to the classroom. So we'll get to see each other again on November 30th. That's on Monday. And that is the last day of November. So we'll come back on November 30th, and then the next day we'll have to change our calendar to December. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? Okay, let's add a clip onto our days of school. Yesterday we ended with 53. Let's see, 53. I wonder what comes next. 53, 54. Okay, whoops, I almost, I almost took a red clip, you guys. We need a blue clip, right? Three blues plus one more blue makes four blues. Oh, look at that. We only need one more blue, and then we'll get to start some reds again. I'm going to take off this three, and what number should we put there? Four, because we have four right here. And now it says 54. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. Nice work. All right. Going to move the camera a little bit again here. Today, for um, your practice time, your math practice time, um, I'm going to ask you to get out your dot cards or your number cards, 1 through 10. Or if you really want a challenge, go ahead and take out 1 through 20 in your number cards. 
And last week we learned a little game called Mix It Fix It. So we're going to play that again today. And then I have a seesaw activity for you to complete that is just like Mix It Fix It. The numbers 1 through 10 are all mixed up and you're going to move them so that they are in order and turn that in. So will you help me play Mix It Fix It real quick? Thanks. I have my numbers here. Oh, there's six dots, one, and ten, and four, five, seven, three, nine, two, and eight. Are they in order? Good heavens, no. They're not in order, are they? All right. Let's see if I can put them in order. Here I go. One. Two, three. I can subitize all of those. I can see that's one, that's two, that's three. Oh, now I have to find some more. Okay. Okay. Do I have them in order? No. Uh-oh. One, two, three, six. Six doesn't come after three, does it? Four. Okay. One, two, three, four, five then six, and I'm going to the next row so you can still see it. And then nine, right? And then 10, and then seven, and then eight. Oops, did I mix it up? Okay, let me try this again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is this seven? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine. That's not seven. Here's seven. Look at that. It looks just like the six, but with one more dot in the middle. Kind of like a letter H, huh? Okay, let's see what comes next. Six, seven, ten, nine, eight. Ooh, that seems a little funny. Six, seven, eight. And after eight is nine, and then ten. Thank you for helping me. You can play that with your dot cards or with your number cards. And then on Seesaw, you're going to show me with numbers. Have a fabulous long, long weekend. And I will see you in school on Monday.